Hello po. Good morning again to all of you. Our topic for today is all about ballistic. But first of all, I want to thank Ma'am Zani for requesting this video discussion po. So just like Ma'am Zani, kung may request po kayo na video discussion regarding sa subjects of criminologist licensure examination review, just feel free to comment that topic below. When we say ballistic, please remember three words, that is science, motion, and projectile. So when we combine the three words to each other, we have the definition of ballistic, that is the science of the motion of the projectile. Take note po that when we say projectile, a projectile refers to a metal or non-metal ball which is propelled by the firearm. So kapag nakakita po kayo ng ammunition, is that a projectile? The answer is no. Take note po na ang ammunition is a complete set of unfired unit consisting a bullet, cartridge case, Merong gunpowder and then primer din po. Okay, so take note na ang ammunition is hindi pa pinuputok sa baril po. So ang ammunition is not yet a projectile. In order for that ammunition to become a projectile, it must be a requirement for that ammunition to be loaded in a firearm and then ipuputok po natin. So kapag nag-separate yung bullet from its body, that's the time na tatawagin natin na yung bullet is a projectile po. Then, ano naman po ang motion? So, take note, ang motion is a movement. So, ang motion po is a movement ng bala. Okay, from the time na nag-separate yung bala to its body po. So, that is the motion na sinasabi po natin. Ang salitang ballistic po is from Greek word na balio or balain, which means to throw po. Sinasabi din po nila na ang origin of the word ballistic is from the Roman war machine called balista. So ano po yung balista? Balista is a gigantic catapult or malaking tirador po that hurls a missile, stone or large object like a dead person or dead animal. And now we have a question. In ballistics, there are blank types of motion. A1, B2, C3, D4. Ang sagot po natin dyan is letter C. There are three types of motion in ballistic. The first one is direct motion. The second one is rotatory motion. And the third one is translational motions. So let's discuss kung anong pinagkakaiba ng tatlong yan. So when we say direct motion, yan po yung forward movement of the bullet or shots out of its shells by the action of expansive force of gases coming from the burning gunpowder po. Okay, so simple lang po ang direct motion na, the forward motion of the bullet po. Now next one, when we say rotatory motion, yan po yung action ng bullet kung saan umiikot po yan sa loob ng ating ripplings. So kapag sinasabi po naman natin na translational motion, yan po yung action of the bullet after hitting a hard surface po. Or simply, yung ricochet na sinasabi natin or, or the bouncing back of a bullet. O punta naman tayo sa branches of ballistic. So, ilan ba ang branches of ballistic? So, sa ngayon po, we have four branches of ballistic. But take note that in early age, there are only three branches of ballistic. Yan po yung internal ballistic, external ballistic, and then terminal ballistic. And now, nadagdag na po ngayon yung sinasabi natin na forensic ballistic. So, we have four branches of ballistic. Now, kapag sinasabi po natin na interior ballistic or internal ballistic, yan po yung pag-aaral ng ballistic kung saan ina-apply po yung pag-aaral ng ballistic to the motion of the bullet while still inside the firearm hanggang sa dulo po ng muscle of the firearm. And then when we say external or exterior ballistic naman, pinag-aaralan na natin dyan yung flight of the bullet na sinasabi natin or after leaving of the bullet to the muscle of the firearm and then before po niya na ma-reach yung target is tinatawag po natin na exterior ballistic. From the time po na yung bullet hits the target, ang branches of ballistic na ina-apply natin dyan is the terminal ballistic. So terminal ballistic, pinag-aaralan natin dyan yung impact ng bullet on the target po. And then we have the last one, 
we have the forensic ballistic. So, yung ballistic po is in-apply natin sa batas, okay? In-apply natin yung ballistic sa administration of justice po. So, forensic ballistic, yan po yung tinatawag natin na firearm identification. We identify the firearm by means of the ammunition na ipinotok from that firearm. So, that is the forensic ballistic. Ayan po, dito na po nagtatapos ang ating video discussion ngayon. So, kung may natutunan po kayo sa video ito, so please like this video and if you want more videos like this regarding sa Criminologist Licensure Examination Review, just hit the subscribe button. So, see you in my next videos po.